air hull lubrication system the technology for the future the designers claim that by having a carpet of air bubbles underneath the ship's hull they're going to save fuel let's see how so the air hull lubrication system this concept has been developed by three different companies one is the DK group and they have named it as air cavity system and the second one is the Mitsubishi heavy industries MHI and they have named it as micro bubbles and the third one is the Sweden based company Stena bulk they have named it as air max air cushion system in this video we're going to see about the air cavity system developed by the DK group and they claim that by the air cavity system they're going to reduce the fuel consumption and the CO2 emission by 10 to 15 percent so before that let's understand what is air hull lubrication what are going to lubricate or what exactly it's happening there we all know that there's going to be huge frictional resistance as the ship sails through water so the idea is to reduce this frictional resistance or the friction between the seawater and the ship's hull a blanket of air bubbles or the carpet of air bubbles is introduced between the ship's hull and the water so that they are getting separated and thus the frictional resistance reduces which means you're going to save in the amount of fuel which are going to spend for the voyage and one version of the air hull lubrication system is the air cavity system developed by the DK group which uses huge compressors to pump in air and compress and store it in the chambers or cavities under the ship's hull so the entire process goes like this the air from the atmosphere is sucked by the compressor and the air gets compressed and it's stored in the chambers and as the seawater flows through the chambers or cavity they pick up air and form air bubbles and the seawater distributes the air bubble throughout the hull right from forward to aft which means the ship is literally going to float on air bubbles so reducing the contact friction between the seawater and the ship's hull thus saving in fuel so this picture from the DK group claims that the system is capable to be fit in any kind of ship which has completely flat bottom. So here is the air cavity system overview. For small ships it is just sufficient to have 8 cavities or 8 chambers. However as the size of the ship increases we got to have at least 30 cavities or chambers. So as we can see in this diagram, air from atmosphere is being compressed by the compressor and then stored inside this chamber or cavity. As the seawater flows, it picks up the air and then forms air bubbles which is distributed all underneath the hull. Which means the frictional resistance is going to reduce and thus you're going to save fuel. Here is the midship section view and you can see a lot of air bubble being distributed all underneath the hull and here are few doubts which the marine mechanic team have and we got to witness the system coming into existence first question is will the air lubrication happen and be effective at all speeds and the second question is won't it interfere with the propeller cavitation or as the air bubbles go underneath the hull and strike the propeller won't it create a cavitation on the propeller blades and the third question as of now is on the cavities of the chamber under the hull would it be a better place for marine growth or should we have a separate system to counteract this marine growth under this chamber or cavities so we got to wait and watch how the system is going to come into existence in all ships